Thanks for following along today. I'm Eli, and we're going to work on our CNC a little bit. Now we're going to finish up our Z axis. Make sure you like and subscribe while you're doing it. And let's do this. First, we're going to assemble the Z axis stepper motor and lead screw and coupler. Just a little spring coupler here. I'm going to put Loctite on the screws in it so they don't back out. There's four of them. Not a bad idea that paper towels are on. This is different sizes on one end. I think it's five millimeter and let's say eight millimeters. We're going to push this coupler on until the stepper motor shaft is right up there. It's right up there on the spring right, with the last notch. And then we're just going to put the shaft in, the threaded shaft on the other end, just barely hanging on. Line the flat on your stepper up with the set screw. Have them both on the round part. Probably have some trouble. We're going to put our lead screw in. Oh, these are uh, <clears throat> automation technology KL17H248-15-4A stepper motors. I think they're 76 ounce. Get the focus on it. Right, now we can put this upper plate on the stepper with our three millimeter screws, hopefully. Next, you need to press a skateboard bearing into this lower bracket. I already did it. It, it slid right in on mine. I just shoved it in with a hammer handle, kind of. I already drilled, uh, I think there's six millimeter holes, two of them, 175 millimeters apart. V1 website says all the specs. The holes are the down part. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling some of this. I'm going to go ahead and shove them up through this bottom plate first. So it'll go on like this. That bearing is over that shaft. I'm going to get a block to push all this on. Okay. Got her in there and then we got to take up this gap. The bearing wants to be sitting against this coupler. We'll have to line our holes. They're both going to face forward ish. And we'll put on our tool mount. And we got to line the mounting holes up on our tool mount with the holes in these tubes. So they're about the same angle. And these nut traps we made at the beginning, we're going to shove these up in the tube. 
You all kind of line the bolt holes up. This mount's from a Burley. It takes some four millimeter screws. The Burley and Primo mounts are interchangeable, as far as I know. These do not need to be too tight. You will break those nut traps. At least what I've seen from other people. If you like and subscribe, I might be able to get monetized and afford a better workbench. But that's not really the main point of this. I'm just having fun showing you guys what to do so far. All bolted on. Now we'll just make sure there's not any extra tension on these here and then put the screws in. Five millimeter nuts and screws. All right, now that we got these screw holes drilled out a little further, <laughs> bolts fit a lot better. Don't tell my wife that's her screwdriver. Lightly snug. Should be good enough to break it. Then here's the car we assembled in a previous video. Go check that one out if you haven't watched it yet. We got our Z-axis, hopefully. Well, I either A, put these bolts in backwards, B, the Primo is not as compatible with the Burley as I was told, something here we'll, we'll check it out and see apparently I put these bolts in backwards so we'll have to take these center bolts out flip them around make clearance for a z-axis can't follow I'm gonna change this channel's name to watch Eli screw everything up All right, correct orientation of the bolts. Let's hope this goes together. There it is. MPCNC Primo Z axis. Assembled.